Hey guys, Matthew here. So today I'll be going over another episode of which uniques to pick up. We're going to be going over boots. Uh, so in terms of boots, I really don't pick up many uh, many pairs of boots just because most of them are just worthless and the ones that are worth something are either from prophecies or boss killing and things of that nature. So in terms of boots, seriously, it's going to be a pretty fast video. Uh, I'm going to try to make it a bit quicker. People have been saying in the comments, like, just, like, try to make it a bit more concise, a bit more, you know, uh, short. So, I'll try. But, uh, so, for example, Storm Charger, I don't pick those up. Uh, even, like, a very, very high lightning resistance roll, there's just not much on these boots that give you anything. Uh, there's no life on there either. Um, the movement speed is very low. It's just not a very good pair of boots. Windscream, it's kind of the same thing. It's just very tiny amount of movement speed uh they're all resistance is cool but it's very very low uh elemental damage can be had on you know uh rare boots if you craft it so it's it's this is not much there there is a, a one additional curse but for no life trade-off and things of that nature yeah windscreen is just not good i don't pick them up uh rape red blade tramplers you're not actually going to pick those up or sorry, you're not actually going to drop them because they're league specific. But if you do drop them from like the, the crate, um, or sorry, the strong box, or things of that nature when running the warband mod, uh, they're just not worth anything either, unfortunately. Uh, Christian's tracks, as I've said, uh, all these items I do not know about, but they are beast because because they are from Beast Cherry and they didn't go core. So in reality, there's no point of talking about this because uh, you're never going to drop them anymore. The Infinite Pursuit, uh, Pursuit is uh, from uh, Olnithal, whenever you're doing his Breach or uh, the Breach Lord domain. Uh, you can drop those, but they're not worth anything. That being said, you know, might as well pick them up because a good life roll can net you a few chaos. Wind Shriek, you're not actually going to drop. It's the upgraded version of uh, Windscream. Cam's Root is one that I always pick up because it cannot have sockets, which means there's basically no reason to not pick it up. Uh, or to not pick them up, sorry, because there's very, very low investment, and I always vow them. So I just pick them up, I identify them, I don't even really look at the life roll, and then I just vow them. Uh, because there's quite a few good uh, good corruptions on boots that can give them, you know, more, uh, more value. Uh, the Red Trail, you're not actually going to pick, or sorry, you're not actually going to drop them. They're the upgraded version of the Infinite Pursuit. Seven league step. You're not either. You're not going to drop those either. They are locked behind parenthesis league. So unless you're doing Xana mods or things of that nature, uh, you're not actually going to get those to drop. Abras hooves is one of the rare pair of boots really uh, that can drop, and they're always worth uh, picking up. They're pretty decently expensive at the start of a league, around one exalt, uh, sometimes more depending on the rolls. Uh, but they go down decently quick. But they're always worth picking up for sure. You're always gonna it's always gonna net you some amount of chaos. Uh that that's actually worth it. Victero's flight, uh just leave those on the ground. Even like a perfect roll doesn't matter. Deerstalker's the same thing, even a perfect uh trap throwing speed roll and a very like near perfect life roll, it just doesn't matter. These things are just they're just not worth it. Uh goldworms are definitely a pair of boots you always want to pick up. Identify them. What gives goldworms the worth uh, is always the quantity. So if you have a 19, 20 percent, or 19 or 20 percent quantity of items, definitely make sure to price check them because they're probably worth a good amount for sure. And if you have a good fire resistance roll as well, uh, just like a perfect pair of just perfect 20 percent quantity and 50 percent fire resistance early in the league can be two to three exalts just because of the rolls without even having an enchant. If you slap a, a very good enchant like attacking cast speed if you've killed recently or uh, life gained or sorry uh, life and mana leech if you've killed recently things of that nature uh, they can be worth a lot especially early in the league because they are so in demand and the supply is very low uh, blood dance I don't pick those up three three step assault I don't pick those up Garukin's flight is uh, specific to this current league incursion but they're not worth anything really they're just like one chaos uh, a very good roll though, game net you like three to five. Uh, but you know, I guess you can pick those up, identify them. You never know. Uh, Syntrax, Syntrax are one of those pair of boots that are worth absolutely nothing except if you have insane rolls. So the 
The most important role on this is the energy shield. It's a flat 100 to 160, and the closer you are to 160, the more worth these boots are going to be. A pair of perfect ones, just 160 energy shield, uh, can net you like an exalt, with, and the other rolls don't even matter. So it's definitely a pair of boots you want to look out for whenever you drop them, identify them. Uh, if the ES is under like 150, they're probably not going to be worth a whole lot, so then you can just consider vending them, uh, vendoring them. Azuri Step is a pair of boots that's like one chaos, not really worth anything. That being said, if you get a good life roll, like a near perfect life roll, uh, they can they can be worth quite a bit more, not like an insane amount, but like 20, 30 chaos. And then if you get a uh, like a perfect life roll and a perfect chance to dodge spell hits, uh, then they can net you uh, you know a, de a decent amount, I'd say like a 30, 50, uh, 30 40 chaos uh, type of deal. So not bad at all. Uh, Pharaoh's Chase is BCR League, so you don't have to worry about those. Wanderlust is one of those unique items that's just very good to level with, but they're not actually worth anything because they're super common. Uh, so, you know, pick one up uh, for, for whenever you're going to level a character again. But other than that, once I have a good pair that I picked up and that I've already, uh, uh, sorry, made into like four links and stuff, I just leave them in my, in or sorry, in my bank. And uh, I don't touch them anymore for the rest of the league, and I don't pick up any more pairs. That being said, like I said, for the first like two days of a league, they're worth picking up uh, because the demand for them is very high. Wonder Trap, don't pick those up. They're garbage. Uh, Bones of Allure, whatever. Those had a time uh, where they were worth a decent amount depending on the movement speed roll on them, but even a perfect pair of movement speed currently is absolutely worthless. A Shavron's Gambit. Or sorry, Chevron's Pace is the ones you're going to drop, and you can turn them into Chevron's Gambit. But yeah, Chevron's Pace, I don't pick up. They're not worth anything. There's like a chance or a Great Trap you're not going to drop. It's the upgraded version of Wonder Trap. Uh, Rainbow Strider, are... like, it's kind of weird because Ra Rainbow Trap are decent decent boots, honestly. But the thing is, they're ES boots. Uh, the moon speed is good. The all res is nice. But that's the thing. It's ES pair of boots and plant, uh, block chance applied to spells. So it's not exactly like amazing. Personally, I don't pick those up anymore. And I, as Epiphany, you're not really gonna drop. It's only from the Pale Court. Uh, so you know, if you're bossing, if you're doing the Pale Court, then you can drop those. And obviously, they're worth something. Sky Fourth. I don't think I have to talk too much about those. You always want to pick up your Sky Fourth if you ever get to see one. I've personally never dropped a pair of Sky Fourth in my life. Step and Nerd are worth absolutely nothing, but you're not really gonna drop them anyways because they're specific to Warband League. Uh, but if you do drop them from the crate and stuff, just know that they're not really worth anything. Uh, Dusk Toe are not worth anything. Lion Nice Paw is not worth anything. Dusk Blight is the upgraded version of Dusk Toe. Uh, Mute Wind Wisp uh, Whisper, Whisper Steps is also uh, specific to Warband League, so you're not really going to drop those unless you get the Strong Box or you run the Xanamod. But if you do get them, they're not worth anything either way. Uh, Sackle Walls Talons is Beastiary. You don't have to worry about that. Dark Ray Vectors is one that is pretty important to talk about because you definitely, every single pair of Vectors you want, you get, you want to quality them to 20%. Uh, put four sockets on there, link it, and then val it because you can get, you know, that plus one frenzy that everybody wants so bad uh, whenever you're stacking frenzy charges on like a raider. Having a plus one frenzy on this pair of boots is pretty insane because they already have plus one frenzy, so it's just... Uh, the thing about Raider is you get movement speed for frenzy charges. So the more you have, the more movement speed you get. Uh, so it really makes up for not having uh, a lot of move a lot of movement speed on the boots because you get five percent movement speed per frenzy. So if you're stacking like I don't know seven, eight, nine, you're getting a lot more movement speed from these boots than f than for example from a thirty percent movement speed pair of boots. So definitely consider valuing those. But always four link them beforehand. Wicked Destruction, I'm not picking those up. Ralakesh, uh, Ralakesh and Patience, I'm not picking those up. Abron's Warpath is another one of those pair of boots that is locked behind Warband Leagues, but I don't pick those up anyways. Gang's Momentum, I don't pick that up either. Death's Door is only from Uber Lab, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. If you do get them, though, uh, they're worth a lot, so obviously you want to pick them up. Gnomic Storm, I don't pick those up. Sundance, I don't pick those up. Dance of the Offered, I don't pick those up. Brian Roll Railers is another one of those Warband pair of boots. Uh, I don't pick them up, though, because they're just not good. Uh, Oma Yolkin is the upgraded pair of Dance of the Offered from, like, the Ritual of 
sacrifice or something. I can't remember. Oh uh, no, wait, the vial of the vial of ritual uh, is what I should say. Uh, but they're not like doesn't really matter because dance of the offered is only like a chaos. So yeah, sun spite you're not actually gonna drop. It's the upgraded version of sun dance, but they're not worth anything. Finumu's spinrets is obviously from bestiary league, so you don't have to worry about those either. Uh, when it comes to B bubonic trail, which is the abyss boots, you definitely want to pick those up. Uh, two sockets is worth a lot more than one socket, but still, uh, it's just all around a good pair of boots. That being said, yeah, one socket's not going to be worth that much, and two socket is going to be worth a lot more. Voidwalker is from Shaper, uh, so unless you're doing boss killing, you're not really going to drop those. But if you are doing boss killing and Shaper and stuff, you will get those. Uh, but they're not actually worth anything, unfortunately, just because the market is always oversaturated because it's one of the common drops from Shaper. So that's going to be it for the boots. Uh, this is basically what I pick up and what I don't pick up. Like I said, in terms of boots, I really only pick up a few pairs because most of them are just oversaturated markets and just not worth anything in general. Uh, so, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you, you learned a little something. Hopefully you're looking forward to the next race, the one-month race. It's coming along very soon, and we have a plan for that. Uh, we're also going to be streaming that uh, probably daily. Uh, because I plan on going decently hard, maybe not as hard as uh, the start of this league, but still I plan on playing quite a bit, so we're definitely going to be streaming that to show you guys, you know, how I progress and what I do, what I invest in, things of that nature. So until the next one, this is going to be Matthew signing out. Thanks for watching.